Uh, welcome all. This uh, is my Waco CF50 uh, compressor fridge that I've had for over 17 years now and uh, up until a few weeks ago it's uh, been working flawlessly but uh, then the thermistor uh, decided to give up the ghost um, which is not an uncommon thing with the uh, Waco fridges and uh, so I needed to do a repair and uh, I had a look at a lot of videos on YouTube about uh, how to go about uh, doing a uh, thermistor replacement and the surprising thing is that there are quite a few different variations of the same model fridge and the way the uh, thermistor goes into the, uh, the base of the fridge. What you have to do in most cases is pretty much uh, disassemble the uh, motor component and also then pull off the, uh, the base which can be a real problem because it's been uh, filled with a uh, expanding foam uh, after it's been put uh, together and uh, it can be very difficult to get the, uh, the shroud off and uh, what I noticed in several videos is that there are different methods where the uh, thermistor has been actually installed on the base of the fridge and uh, that creates its own problems in replacing. One of the uh, later models uh, apparently has a sleeve uh, put into the uh, fridge itself so that you don't have to disassemble things uh, like you did before and you just slide the new thermistor in place but when I pulled the uh, motor uh, shroud off uh, mine uh, all the cables disappear somewhere into the underneath the compressor itself and it was quite uh, different to the ones that I saw on YouTube so I started pondering uh, a simpler way of fixing the the mister issue and uh, after a bit of thought came up with a uh, solution that uh, turned out to be very very uh, simple to achieve it only took about 15 minutes um, give or take a few minutes or a bit longer to find a few components but uh, once you've got all the things prepared it's dead simple to put in and uh, fix the whole thing. Now I've had the fridge running for over a day now to uh, validate that it actually works and it's been performing uh, perfectly now so um, the solution that I've come up with uh, is, uh, is quite uh, straightforward and if the thermistor ever uh, gives up the ghost again it's dead easy to uh, go and fix it and uh, replace it with a new one uh, without having to go through a lot of hassles. So. This is the outside of the fridge, it's currently running on my com uh, companion uh, battery pack and uh, I'll uh, just change views and uh, give you the uh, show and tell of uh, how I've actually gone about fixing it and this might help uh, anybody who uh, has uh, found the thermistor uh, going a little bit astray and uh, you too might uh, look at this solution so I shall uh, flip over and get a closer up view of what I've done. Okay, now that I can give you a slightly better view, the uh, thermistor now is actually housed inside the fridge itself. What you can uh, see here is I've drilled a 10mm hole in the side of the, uh, the cooler side of the uh, fridge itself which goes into the control panel and uh, that was a no-brainer to put the uh, cable back in, uh, into place there. And then I've routed the cable itself out and down and I've installed a copper pipe uh, inside here and uh, the thermistor tube goes all the way down to the bottom and I've just cable tied it to the, uh, the little uh, cage inside there and if I need to take the cage out to clean water or whatever else out from the bottom of the uh, fridge I can just cut the clip or the zip ties and then just lift this out to the side and the uh, little cage will come out without any drama. Now this has worked absolutely flawlessly now and uh, it has taken a little bit of room I guess from the side here with the cable and in there but uh, that's minuscule as far as uh, uh, things are concerned. The only issue that I've found with uh, the solution there is one of the reasons I think uh, uh, which is causing the problem is I've put a rubber bung on the bottom of the, the copper tube itself uh, to stop any moisture getting in from the bottom and whatever um, and I think that's just uh, altering the uh, temperature reading a little bit because what I've had it's got the fridge set to now is minus three so the internal temperature is one degree which is what I normally run it at and uh, if I'd sort of put a metal plug if I could have found one um, it may have changed the situation and actually giving you a more accurate reading but that doesn't really matter I used a uh, temperature probe to uh, measure the uh, temperature inside while I kept setting the, uh, the temperature on the uh, control panel so that eventually I got one degree so I'm not going to go uh, past the one degree this is the way I've always used it and uh, it's always just been used as a drinks fridge so one degree is all I need to do if I did want to go to uh, sub-zero temperatures um, I've still got uh, about minus 12 uh, as the lowest temperature that it'll go to from the minus 18 that it normally would um, so I can still freeze if I wanted to freeze so this is a, only took me a 
15 minutes or so to do it once I sort of thought it and I've uh, got uh, off Amazon some clips that hold the wire in place I'll put a link in the video to uh, to where I got the thermistor and also uh, the uh, clips uh, so that if you want to do something like this um, it's easy to do the copper piping just came from Bunnings our hardware store um, very cheap and readily available so there's nothing uh, to it at all and I put some uh, heat shrink on the other end there to actually uh, stop anything from going down into the tube itself and so hopefully the internals are protected so the copper tubing I use mainly because that allows a good uh, conduction of heat or cold and uh, the thermistor will operate a little bit better than if I'd used a, a plastic tube which may not have worked at all uh, to be honest so that's a very very uh, quick and easy solution for anybody who's got a CF50, CFX50 or the 80 series or the 60 series that use a similar uh, thermistor principle um, and you can just simply uh, swap the thing over like that and uh, if that goes as I mentioned I can just pull that control panel off two screws unplug the uh, the mister cable and put a new one in there so it's dead easy to do and just as an aside uh, for those who have got these fridges and found that the little pins on the door uh, break they went uh, some months ago or last year and uh, rather than looking at buying a new lid I simply bought some uh, hinges from hardware store and installed those on either side and the fridge now works like a charm so I never swapped the lid uh, over into any other position and uh, it's always been opening that way for the last 17 odd years so uh, that's another little quick solution for those who have got one of these fridges and uh, have happened to damage the uh, hinge pins on the uh, lid itself so on that note I'll call it cheers